Hi guys, Shed Hermit here, also known as Andy. Uh, we've come out of the shed today and uh, we're playing about in the garden and we're doing some experiments with uh, our welding gear. So I am lucky enough to have uh, some full size oxyacetylene uh, bottles, um, but I know for a lot of people it's not possible. These companies expect you to sign contracts, give big deposits, uh, and it's just not worth it for uh, amateur or hobby use. And also, you need two of each, don't you really? Just in case you run out uh, halfway through a job. So it's just not worth it. So I've been looking at some alternatives. Uh, I've been looking at using different gases, uh, including MAP gas, propane, uh, mixtures of uh, propane and butane uh, and some of these little these mini kits there's a, a benzomatic uh, a walkover 555 and a couple of others I've got in the shed I'll, uh, I'll get those out but I do like to use where possible your original full size uh, like that this is a sapphire welding torch from British Oxygen and your, your standard pipes, um, if you can use those with uh, a different gas or a different system, I think that's, that's even better. And I want to show you my favourite find of all, guys. This is a, a medical oxygen generator that produces as much pure oxygen. Sorry, 95% pure oxygen, as much as you want, any time you want absolutely free and you can use it to oxyacetylene weld with or map oxy map weld or oxypropane weld but that's you know oxygen supply no more pouring these bottles yep that's it that's the answer I found it absolute perfection so there's the machine Plug it into the main, switch it on, and you, uh, the oxygen just uh, you put your pipe onto there. I'm going to connect that up in a minute, and uh, there's your oxygen for welding with. So, when connecting to the MAP gas or the small propane bottle, um, what I did, I, I bought one of these uh, little blowtorch guns. Uh, this I found was the cheapest way of getting a regulator uh, to fit on these bottles. Um, so I bought this little kit, I think it was about £25. Uh, I just cut it off, no use for that. And, um, and that just screws onto the, uh, the map gas there. And you, you hook it up to, the, uh, to your normal sapphire torch via your, your hose. And what I use is uh, a little, one of these flashback arresters. I find them uh, have useful little barbs on and giving you a little bit more protection uh, against flashback as well. So on this little scenario where we're changing the acetylene for the map gas, all I've done, I've got this little flashback arrester, as I said, connect it to the, uh, to the sapphire torch, uh, tighten that up, and then, then we're ready to go with that. And with the oxygen, just pulling that off the gauge there, and uh, that's going straight on the uh, the oxygen machine. Obviously, I'll, I'll top, push that on a bit further, but uh, that's good to go. So you, you see how easy it is with a, a few little uh, adapters and connectors and bits of pipe and clips uh, to experiment with a, a few different types of uh, gases. Uh, an alternative methods. I do always think it's uh, quite important to have some kind of uh, flashback arrester on the uh, the gas bottles and uh, as I've, I've joined this uh, pipe up there uh, this little um, flashback arrester to the uh, the map gas there um, obviously we don't need uh, uh, flashback arrest to go into the oxygen machine there's nothing to worry about dangerous there but uh, I do admit I've always got a, a fire extinguisher 
to hand when I'm uh, experimenting or, or just or even welding I've always got that nearby you just you just got to be careful and there you go guys a, a beautiful hot flame you can just see the uh, oxygen machine in the background there a beautiful hot flame giving plenty of heat out there for welding or cutting or heating a rusty bolt up the map gas and the propane is a much cleaner flame than the acetylene um, when you first light up uh, the acetylene uh, gas on its own you'll get like a, a sooty a really dirty soot coming off the flame before you add the oxygen you don't get that with the with the um, the map gas or the propane that's a that's a lovely hot flame and I just want to show you putting the acetylene regulator onto the propane a lot of people don't know this that uh, it's exactly the same thread it's the opposite thread just like the acetylene and uh, and that screws straight on there you go exactly the same as fitting as the acetylene one thing I have got on that it's a, a right angle adapter I'll put a link to these in the description um, it's useful on the propane bottle because some uh, gauges um, the outlet comes out in a different place and because of the uh, like the shielding on the propane bottle um, it's difficult to get the regulator in without one of those uh, but on my acetylene bottle that comes out the same way as well um, and it just enables me to have the gauges uh, facing upright so you can read them conveniently Unscrew the map gas. Take the connector off, and then we're uh, we're back onto the propane. And uh, again, we've we've got our flashback arrested there, so we've we've protected. Okay guys, so this is the uh, the oxygen out of the cylinder and uh, the propane bottle now. I'm just uh, trying. I've already, I've lit the flame. Um, there it is to show you. It's a little bit windy out here, so I've, I've already lit it. Um, a little bit of a slightly smaller flame. If I can turn that up a little bit. And it's, you can't see it quite as much as the acetylene um, in the map gas. But um, it's a very hot flame. There you go. Look at that. Straight away, you put in. Uh, that's going like orange, white, white hot, and you could you could melt through that. You can weld with that easily, which I which I have done. Beautiful flame that is. Instead of it's, it's a cleaner burn than the than the acetylene. You can barely see it. Um, can see the heat it gives out yeah that's that's lovely so that's the, the big propane bottle and uh, the pure oxygen from the cylinder now I'm just unplugging the uh, the oxygen tube from the bottle and plugging it into the machine we'll get that switched on We'll turn that right up, and there you go, guys. That's a, a lovely flame off the. Um, don't want to damage the workbench. Um, lovely flame off the propane and uh, oxygen being pumped out with the uh, medical oxygen machine. Um, I'll just show you the goggles on. 
and I'll just show you me welding with that. I'll try and get it so you can see. There you go. Welding with free oxygen and propane. There you go, guy. I don't know how well you can see the flame there. It's quite bright out here and uh, it's also quite breezy, which is not the best uh, environment for, for, you, for me to be showing you this in. It's a lovely flame and that's, uh, that's free oxygen. It's not out of a cylinder, it's coming out of the pump. I'll just show you that. I'll turn the camera to that and I'll show you it. Turn this off first. There you go guys, free, beautiful free oxygen. Okay, so while we're here, I've got the uh, the little Kemper um, gas welding bottles out and this is the walkover 555. Uh, while we've got it out, I'm just going to show you the flame off this as well. I'll just turn the bottles on. Okay. It's a nice little kit this is to be honest uh, and when I put a bigger nozzle in this torch it all became a lot more capable so I think it is very important to get the right nozzle that's got a beautiful little flame that is isn't it uh, and that's a butane and protein mix and that's the oxygen out of the, uh, the cylinder there Okay. lovely hot flame. I'll put the goggles on, I'll show you this uh, welding. I think I've got one a little bit too hot. You can tell, you can just hear it kind of it's just sizzling a little bit, which is not ideal. But uh, it does produce uh, a lovely hot fly and a lovely weld. For smaller jobs, obviously the size of the torch. It's uh, a nice little flame, and again a very similar flame um, to the take the goggles off to the acetylene. A um, little bit of soot coming off it, but not as much soot as the acetylene. Um, and this is the benzomatic uh, torch, which uh, I've already chopped chopped I've been uh, experimenting with uh, it's only a very small tube that so you need probably quite a, a small barb or pipe to go into that but you'll notice with the benzomatic uh, torch you haven't got the controls on the on the um, on the actual torch itself so that's a bit of a pain you have to uh, adjust the uh, flame via the regulators and one of my new torches, uh, which I, I thought I'd have to give a try. I kept seeing these pop up on eBay and Amazon. Um, it's like a fine oxyacetylene uh, welding torch. Obviously much smaller for um, you know, jewellery and craft. Definitely not automotive. Uh, 
but I'll be giving that a try uh, and see how I get on with that and um, with the different gases so I've just got to make some adapters up that might go straight on to the, uh, to the bottles I don't know yet so we'll have a little play with that I did um, I picked both of these uh, mini gas welding uh, kits up um, second hand off, off uh, the internet you do come across them uh, so that's why I didn't mind you know chopping them up and having a play about with uh, uh, the different because they all come with them um, you think they're all the same size uh, bottle connections but they're not um, this Kemper one is different to the uh, to these the map gas and this propane um, and there's another couple of different types that are so don't be fooled into thinking all these mini bottles are the same they're not um, is it a castelline uh, they do a different type of bottle as well so uh, if you are going to buy some of those just be uh, be aware of the prices of the bottles because some of them are pretty expensive but the uh, it depends what you want where you're going with it guys I mean the hottest of the gases uh, it's, it is the acetylene um followed by the i'd say the map gas um and then the propane and then followed by the, the cooler of the uh, heating gases is probably the propane and butane mix um and that's the, obviously the cheapest way to buy the propane one of these uh big bottles it's very uh, inexpensive and it is nice to have uh, a bottle of oxygen to, to hand um, but when that runs out I certainly won't be getting any more not now we've got this works absolutely superb guys um, depends on the, the flow rate uh, I've got that turned right up uh, I think it's about five or six liters per minute uh, which it produces um, and it's absolutely fantastic for just welding on the bench little um little light light bits of uh, weld on uh, uh say automotive kind of uh bodywork uh, thickness material um i think if you're doing if you're doing some heavier work uh that's not going to supply the uh the flow rate that you need like saying cutting cutting or heavy duty welding but there is uh quite a few of these uh machines around i mean that's quite a a heavy duty um like a hospital industrial kind of uh strength machine uh, they actually use those in hospitals um so i mean after covid's finished there should be quite a few of these uh second hand um knocking around going spare again they uh they do uh like chinese small much smaller chinese copies of these uh, and portable ones i don't know how good they are but um I'm, i've got a few i'm watching in my ebay uh, list uh, which i might might pick one up and uh, give give it a try um i mean there's no point having a big one if um you know a much smaller one will do the same job although i can't see it myself but um yeah I'm, I'm on i'm on the lookout for for a smaller one and I, I will be posting a video of it when i get it to tell you uh how it works but i'll um post some links to some of the things in the uh description on the left hand side including the these little goggles uh which are much nicer than the uh well say glasses rather than the goggles that fit around your head with a band I find those uh much better i think they're uh, there are number three those are um i did try the darker ones that uh but that was just too dark they i went for the uh the maximum protection which i think was a number five and they were just too dark so i'll find these uh, uh plenty of good protection plenty of protection uh for this type of welding uh so yeah some uh, links to things in the uh, description so uh thanks very much for watching guys uh please give me a little like and subscribe and check out my other videos